the sea of 96 million plastic balls that LA hopes will save it from drought. Reservoir is covered in an ocean of black spheres to stop 300 million gallons of water evaporating. With no apparent relief to California's record-breaking drought, Los Angeles has turned to more unusual methods to protect the city's water. Officials recently released 96 million floating shade balls into the 75-acre Los Angeles Reservoir in Silma, California. The black plastic balls are designed to help protect the water against dust, rain, chemicals and wildlife, as well as prevent 300 million gallons of water from evaporating each year. The balls work by floating on the surface and blocking the sun's rays. As well as protecting against evaporation, they also prevent the chemical reaction that creates the carcinogenic compound bromate. For most people, exposure to bromate created from naturally occurring bromide in water is unlikely to be cause problems. But some people who ingest large amounts of bromate have suffered nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and abdominal pain. The balls also form a protective barrier across the surface that helps keep birds, animals and other Kotami arts out. Dr. Brian White, a now-retired Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, Ladwood biologist, was the first person to think of using shade balls for water quality. They are currently in place at Upper Stone, Elysian and Ivo Reservoirs and come with the added benefit of reducing evaporation of the reservoir surfaces by 85 to 90 percent. Mayor Eric Garcetti joined officials yesterday to release the final 20,000 shade balls as part of the region's $34.5 million water quality protection project. In the midst of California's historic drought, it takes bold ingenuity to maximize my goals for water conservation. Garcetti said. This effort by Laidwap is emblematic of the kind of the creative thinking we need to meet those challenges. The polyethylene balls are expected to save $250 million when compared to other, similar techniques to protect the water. These include splitting the reservoir into two with a bisecting dam, and installing two floating covers that would have cost more than $300 million. In addition to cutting back on the need to chemically treat our water to prevent natural occurrences like algae, these shade balls are a cost-effective way to reduce evaporation each year by nearly 300 million gallons, enough to provide drinking water for 8,100 people for a full year, added Kusilma Mitch Englander.